Morning, everybody. We're about to head out to uh, morning assembly. It is about to be lit. It's, what is it? It's uh, Sunday, right? Yeah. Sunday, first full day of Blue Ridge. Amen. I'm really excited. We catch up in the club at uh, morning assembly, which is up this big ass mountain. <laughs> yes. It's too <laughs> big for us. Well, actually, nothing's too big for us. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> All right. I yeah. Got a crew. Remember how I said? Yeah. Well, actually, I'm talking to them, but remember how I said huh? she's gonna be on the stage one day? Yeah. Well, it's starting to fill up right now. I know, right? Okay, morning devotion is set. It's good. What? You like it? No. Is there anything to say? You just, you just started going. To say? You, all you did is started like. You just started. Well, you know morning what? devotion. Good. Okay, that's it. <laughs> it was saying, God loves us. I am. Uh, Jesus gonna loves me. We're gonna walk through the hall. Does Jesus love me, Mason? Jesus loves me. It's like the first place. Yeah, Christy, I got basic games. Look at those freaking mountains. Where are you going? Oh, wow.
if you don't know what that was, that was a uh, little walk we did for a class in taking wellness concepts and uh, we just we got in there a lot but today just a little walk so I want to show you guys around the campus in a bit um yeah right now we're heading to lunch and I want to show you guys something amazing is going to happen at lunch So, class is over with today. Right now, we are going to do fitness testing. I'm gonna try and get myself for the uh, shuttle run. Um, yeah, dinner's gonna be lit tonight. But, uh, yeah, let's run around here. So, let's get a, uh, a little sneak peek on what's going on for dinner tonight. Oh, they got chicken parm.
Steve. He looked no further after he experienced the very peace of mind we are all feeling right now. And more than a hundred years later, because of Dr. Weatherford's abundant faith, this inspirational setting has made a special impact on every one of us. Just think, you're here sitting upon this mountain, not by chance, but by God's choosing. Your own life story has been one of a kind. And in your story, there have been times where you've come out victorious, but there have been times where you've felt utterly lost. We've all faced physical, mental, and spiritual obstacles. And when these obstacles arise, we are faced with a choice on who shall we trust? Ourselves, our parents, our friends, fate? The future is a mysterious, wandering unknown, but faith, the confidence in God and trusting in his plan for you allows us